Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, thanks very much, guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players will wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing-to-lose approach on these plays, many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, T.A. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. They'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Patrick Beverly out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Reeves in at the small forward. And for the Nets, Durant is the four with Claxton playing the five. Irving is out there with Joe Harris. And it's O'Neal in at the three. Ah, the unmistakable feel of the first day clark of the NBA regular season. Game each of these teams and us as broadcasters have been waiting for for a long time. No doubt about it, Kevin. And the excitement you feel as a broadcaster, but even more so as a player, is something you have to temper down, especially if you're on the court. I mean, you don't want to have your adrenaline and excitement affect your focus. So you focus on the work that's going into getting ready for the season, and then you try to just let that work lead how you play. You know, with that combination of strength and length, Davis can easily overwhelm defenders and get himself to the foul line. This is his first free throw of the game. It was a, a little bit of a battle for him all season long last year, only shooting about 71%. You know, yeah, guys, last year was a rough one for him at the stripe. I mean, it's going to be hard for him not to improve on those numbers. They were that bad. The first free throw is good. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on, this is a superstar player. I mean, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor that AD can't do. And both free throws good for Davis. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year because we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by them. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And the Lakers making a change here. Lions checked in. And the Lakers with possession here. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Down low. Here's Claxton. The con with the block. Phenomenal work on defense. James using his athleticism to make a statement with that block. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Harris kicks to KD. O'Neal passes to Claxton. Now here's Irving. Let's it go with a three. Hangs home the trifecta. Irving knocking down that three. Textbook form, too. Never rushes anything. Mechanics are efficient and effective. To the paint. Here's Bryant. And finish off by Bryant. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here is Harris. 17 points in his last outing. 
And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And, and Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. And so Irving nails both of them. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Schroeder up top, covered by Irving, and it's Schroeder missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Irving, five points in the game. Here's KD, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, he's capable of scoring from anywhere. Durant's size and touch make him a primetime threat inside. Bryant finds Schroeder with the drive. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Here's LeBron following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Fade away. O'Neal with the rebound. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Irving with the bounce pass. James against Durant. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Yeah, you know, at first glance, you might think Durant has trouble finishing through contact, but think again, folks. I mean, you can't measure desire by body type. Now, here's Schroeder with D by Irving. KD passes to Harris. Here's Claxton. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by O'Neal. Durant's got six points. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Bryant. Over Irving. And Bryant kicks to Beverly. This one for three. And it's Irving with the rebound. And here are the Nets. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Okay, time now for an injury report. And now let's check in with David Alder to see how Anthony Davis is doing. David. Hey, guys, I got an update from the head athletic trainer of the Lakers. He told me that he bruised his rib. He's got a pretty good mark there, and he is really feeling it. Well, this is definitely unlucky, and especially right at the start of the season. The adjustments will be plentiful going forward. Kevin? Thank you, David. Hopefully, we'll see him very soon. Here's Irving following the bucket by the Lakers. Harris' his shot is good. You know, really good to see Harris playing with that kind of confidence because, you know, these shots will only help him get better. Schroeder and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Nets. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. You also have to admire how they challenge the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, the shifty, quick-footed Schroeder is a um, great weapon to have. Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's a very effective player. Schroeder hits them both. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against Orlando. Irving with the bounce pass. 
and just using that length to his full advantage. Durant draws the foul, and we know what usually happens when he steps to the line. For Brooklyn, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Durant. Well, you look at Durant, and it's obvious. He feels like he's got so much more to prove. I mean, he's as driven a player as you'll find in this league. That's part of his greatness. And the Lakers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. And so Durant nails them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Westbrook against Irving. And Westbrook throws it down hard. Boy, that kind of throw down by Westbrook gets the bench off their feet and excited. Irving passes to Katie. With this chance, let's show you the league's most intimidating shot block and defenses from last season. Fifth best, the Nets. I don't think you can ever underestimate the effect that a few block shots can have on your opponent. I mean, it can get into your head as an offensive player. You're going in there thinking you've got a clear path, and then you see the ball going behind you in reverse. I mean, that can be major intimidation and affect your game. Nets leading by six. Irving up top, defended by Beverly, pass to Durant. O'Neal is screen on James. Durant, no good. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now the pass to James. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Well, I don't think anybody is expecting this shot. LeBron showing some confidence with that long bomb. It's tipped. Now Westbrook. It's Beverly on the wing. They get it again. Second shot opportunity. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Boy, relentless effort that time from Westbrook. Just won't let the possession go to waste. Really fighting for that rebound. As one of the biggest stars in the NBA, Russell Westbrook Clark puts a lot of energy into his charity work. Yeah, he really does, and I don't know how many people really recognize that, but I know he's appreciated for it. He started the Why Not Foundation to help underserved communities, and they're doing some great work. Russ said Why Not has always been his attitude whenever he's pursuing a tough goal, and thus he named his foundation the same way. Hey, you can't diminish Westbrook's triple doubles, but just as important to me are the intangibles. His passion, his tenacity, his competitive spirit and drive. I mean, that infects the whole team in a positive way. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. James kicks to Westbrook. Get there, get there. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up and blocks, and they were in the top 10 in terms of free throw percentage. Very consistent from the strike, an asset. And their field goal percentage speaks to what a patient team they were last season. Good shot selection was certainly the key to their system. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. So for the Nets... Morris is checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And Thomas subbed in for Durant. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer.
And let's check out stats for James. Great showing for him last season. How about 30 points per game? Eight rebounds and six assists. And his rebounding is what's most impressive. He's shown tremendous determination on the backboard. And it's a big asset for this team. I mean, he blocks out on the defensive glass, and then he keeps balls alive at the offensive end. Here's Thomas. Shot clock at five. Will it go? The Lakers with the rebound. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. James, the pass to Westbrook. Passes it to Reeves. Lakers working the ball around now. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist. by Davis. LeBron's got five points so far. Here's Sumner. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Curry with it. Picked up by Davis. Curry shot is off. Los Angeles leading by four. Davis dishes to LeBron. Driving inside. And he uses the glass on the lane. He's got seven. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Edwards, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Gabriel's checked in. O'Neal is green on Walker. Thomas feeling it out a bit and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And here's Los Angeles. They're on an 18 to 5 run. Here's Walker. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Now here's Thomas. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Here's Westbrook. He has seven. The kick out to Walker. 
Six on the shot clock, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Thomas with the ball, picked up by Davis. Brooklyn making some changes. Kevin Durant comes in for Edwards, and it's Mills in for Thomas. Here's Mills, outside curve. Makes good on the step-back jumper. Seth Curry's game in the mid-range area continues to look better, taking advantage of all opportunities. Davis kicks to Walker. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. This is the list of last season's top shooters from the charity strike. These guys were practically automatic. Kevin Durant third. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. Good for another basket for him. Number four today, he's four of eight. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but you know, he can't do it by himself. On the wing, Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kevin Durant. Look at AD, and you know he's taken his share of contact over the course of his career. And quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. One falls for Anthony Davis. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Yeah, not only the trips to the line are concerned, but the foul trouble also. You've got to play defense with your feet and do so without foul. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. Well, I love that attack mentality. Get in there and force the officials to make a call. Now here's Durant for Davis. Again, the Nets for two. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Now here's Walker. He's guarded closely. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Pass to Sumner. Shoots the three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Double team on West. Gabriel, the pass to Reeves. Fires from deep. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Duran against Davis. Outside Duran. And the Nets really going to change here. Dukes check in. Twenty-four seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Sumner. Just five to shoot. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. O'Neal. The offensive rebound. Now here's Curry. There's O'Neal with the three. That shot off. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Lakers ahead. They lead by one. Live from Brooklyn, New York. You're watching 2K Sports. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. 
and a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Making the most of their trips to the charity stripe, that's what they've done a good job of thus far in this one. Very comfortable at the line, and that's a good sign. And I like the fact also that they're the ones that have forced the action. They've created a lot of offense by just attacking the rim. So the Lakers five right now. The backcourt pair for them, Westbrook and Walker. They'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. And it's Reeves in at the three spot. Well, Clark, here's an interesting stat trend of the 2022 season. More shots are taken from three-point range, but fewer makes on average per shot. Yeah, the volume has gone up, but the makes have not. You know, more teams are launching triples and more defenses, quite honestly, Kevin, are focused on challenging those shots. Not surprising to see the numbers trending in the direction you mentioned. And that one's good, James. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And KD throws it down. Easy feasting for KD. I mean, he's been killing them tonight. They just don't have an answer for him. James, the pass to Davis. Off target from outside. Next trail by three. Outside Irving. He kicks it to Harris. Back to Irving. From outside the arc. Rebound the Lakers. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. To the middle, here's Davis, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Watching LeBron in the pick and roll is artistry in motion. Timing, precision, everything's right on the mark. Pass to Durant. All right, a chance to look at the stats for Anthony Davis. Coming off a terrific season. Last season, put up about 23 points per, 10 rebounds and just over two blocks. And the intimidation factor that he possesses with his shot Shoot blocking two. and rim presence, really the backbone of their defense. Yeah, you know, he's protecting the rim like it's his family. I mean, don't even think about going in there. And the first one drops. Thomas Bryant is checked in for the Lakers. So Durant nails them both. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. And there's the pass to LeBron. And it's blocked. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Harris has got the ball. Passes it to KD. It's stolen by Bryant. Durant against Davis. On the wing, James. From deep. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his fourth assist in this one. Outside, KD. The 11-footer, and that's good for two. Durant's got 18 points in the game. Well, I really like the setup there. Irving with the pick. Pass to Davis over Claxton and that one's good by Davis and the Lakers lead by six inside offense almost seems too easy for Davis but it's not I mean you have to have a lot of confidence strength and skill to score against that kind of defense James the pass to Bryant outside Katie And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now here's Walker. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter, shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. KD against Bryant. Shoots over Bryant. 
And it's Durant missing. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Now here's Westbrook. He's got seven. Shot clock at six. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. And now it's a nine-point Los Angeles lead. Irving passes to Claxton. That shot off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And Bryant kicks to Westbrook. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Pass to Curry. To halt the run. And Davis pulls it down. Lakers leading by 11. He dishes it to Westbrook. Walker at the elbow. Outside, Davis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. There are very few that can handle and battle with Davis inside. I mean, he's got really tremendous strength and agility and a nice touch. For Los Angeles, they have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Yeah, numbers last year for them, just about 73%, so the bottom third of the league. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Thomas Bryant. one falls so he hits both of them and for a lot of up and coming teams getting better defensively is the key to reaching Greg that next level that being considered what's the first step in that improvement a lot of times it's bringing in a great defender like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala a defensive anchor who also inspires his teammates to take that challenge now a timeout called by Brooklyn And they were in the top 10 in field goal percentage. Really felt their players understood the value of a good shot and the unselfishness was kind of contagious. Greg, you brought up their fast break points. Their offensive system was all about tempo. Never taking a break, wearing down the other team. So it's Brooklyn now, trailing by 13. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. Durant finds Irving to stop the run. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Irving's got 10. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. Here's Davis. Brooklyn with the rebound. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. Curry outside. Hands it from downtown. He has five. This is why you pay Seth Curry the big contract, the big money. His range is unlimited. On the wing, Davis. Curry with the steal. 
on the wing, Harris. Dishes it to KD. Over LeBron. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Now just a five-point Laker lead. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Davis, and he banks in the layup. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. The pass to Durant, and the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irvin has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Davis with a screen on KD, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Hard to believe, Greg, last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. Free throw drops for James. Word has it that LeBron spends over a million dollars keeping his body in shape. I think that's a big reason why he's been able to enjoy such a long career, making that kind of investment into the tool of his trade. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Durant, and Thomas subbed in for Joe Harris. Nets trail by seven. Thomas passes to Irving. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Boy, good luck trying to keep Irving down. I mean, he's more than happy to take the contact and finish right through it. Already, he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. The Nets making a switch here. Dukes checked in. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And here is Los Angeles now, leading by five. None passes to Gabriel. Kicks it out to LeBron. With the fadeaway. Yes, that goes in. LeBron's got 18 points. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. O'Neal passes to Irving. Taken away. Here's Gabriel covered by Irving. Gabriel, the pass to Westbrook. The shot, no good. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Thomas dishes to Irving. Back to Thomas. Beyond the arc. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Edmund Sumner's checked in for the Nets. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Reeves is checked in. Here's none. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And stolen by Irving. To the right side. Outside Thomas. Here's Sumner. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. So a moment now to see the story on Kyrie Irving. Last season, he played outstanding. Putting in about 27 points a game. Five assists and four rebounds. And he's such a big part a of what they Take do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. 
right side, Thomas. Shoots from the block. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's time now to look at the NBA's top shooting teams from a season ago. The fourth spot held by the Nets. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but, man, they were right there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for And both free throws good for Thomas. The Lakers in the lead. James looking around. Pass to Gabriel. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Waxed in the pass to Sumner. To the inside. Find to find Irving. He's got it now. O'Neal gets to Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. From downtown. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. They are shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc and their confidence is grown. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. None finds James. And nothing is falling for him right now. Brooklyn's gone 4-6 from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Into the lane. And O'Neal gets it to go. O'Neal's got his first two points. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Adding to their lead. And you see that field goal percentage for the game steadily heading north. Now here's LeBron. 18 points for him. And let's see what the Nets have coming up. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. Then on Friday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. The free throw good, LeBron. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. And James drills them both. 
And guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Irving against none. Irving's shot is good. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Pass to Reeves. The dish to James. The three. And that's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And two more three point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Irving can't hit. The Lakers trail. And uh, 101 left now here in the second. Here's James, and there's another one for the Lakers. Yeah, you watch LeBron play, and it's obvious he gets more joy out of passing to his teammates and setting them up than scoring himself. But tonight, he's feeling it. Here's Sumner over Beverly, and the rejection by James. 36 seconds left in the first half. Inside, stolen by O'Neal. To the paint. And the bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Williams, he's checked in for Edmund Sumner. And the Lakers also making a change. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Kendrick Nunn. Los Angeles has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. James. The putback, James on the follow. And the Lakers lead by three. Boy, that's just a strong play by LeBron, winning the rebound and sending it right back up. Irving surveying the floor over Beverly. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kevin, how did you get in that groove offensively in the first half? Well, I'm just playing off my teammates. They're doing a great job of penetrating and kicking. And I'm not trying to force anything. I'm playing my game with an offense, and shots are starting to fall for me. Looks good out there so far. Thanks, Kevin. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And looking at this slew of road games should give them some time to gel. This could be a defining point in their season. Yeah, sometimes road games serves as a catalyst for growth. We'll see if it works out that way tonight. And when we look at the first half for the Nets, a close contest so far. Way too many fouls, if you ask me. Controlled aggression. Otherwise... You're going to lose it at the line. Solid assessment, Shaq. I mean, solid. They're overcommitting on D, and it's costing them. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume.
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there by James. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Durant is the four, with Claxton playing the five. Joe Harris is out there with Irving, and it's O'Neal in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here's KD following the basket by Anthony Davis. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's foul number two for him. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it read the whole way, got himself into position, and then was able to make the play. Here's O'Neal. Puts it up. Off the inbound. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line, so that's more than acceptable. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. That one goes. Count it. LeBron's got 29. A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. And out of bounds is the Lakers gain possession. Taking a look here at the numbers for Schroeder. Last season's performance for him. He put up about 13 points a game last season. Four assists and three rebounds. And he's very steady with that second unit, running the offense and getting them into their sets. Right. I mean, your backup point guard simply has to hold the fort, maintain the status quo, share the basketball, and minimize mistakes. Davis with the bucket. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And when you think about veteran guard Dennis Schroeder, still such a shifty, unpredictable player. Yeah, he really is because of the way he can change gears and play at different speeds. Very impressive. At his best when he's putting blinding speed to use. He doesn't always unleash it, but when he does, it's very effective. Chalk up two there. James has got 31 points. Nothing the defense can do. James is skilled at sinking that jumper right in the face. The wide open look for Durant. Reeves with the rebound. Reeves has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Schroeder. Irving against James. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's an eight-point Laker lead. You know, LeBron in the paint, I think, is major trouble for just about every defender. He can power his way to the basket, or he can pass you into being dizzy. Now, here's Durant. He's got 26. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Guys, I thought he got into a groove last year at the charity stripe, and I thought he maintained it deep into the season as well. That's good from Durant. The Lakers making a switch here. Walker's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Schroeder dishes to James. Back to Schroeder. Davis setting the pick for Schroeder. They swipe it. Here's Claxton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Harris outside. 
here is Irving. Defense is right there, and that one drops for him. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. James, a screen on Irving. Durant with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. KD leading the charge. Irving kicks to KD. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And now just a one-point Laker lead. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. And it's James missing. Nets have gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Here's O'Neal. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. James in the post. Defended by Durant. James, no good. Brooklyn's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's stolen by Schroeder. LeBron against O'Neal. James, the pass to Davis. Here's Claxton. No points in the game yet for him. A double team KD. Claxton, the pass to Durant. And the Nets miss again. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. LeBron against Durant. The 3 from Davis. It falls for his 7th bucket of the contest. He's 7 for 9. I think this particular play hinges on Davis's shooting ability. But you've got to set him up right, and the basket is virtually guaranteed if you do. Drills it from outside. Durant's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Brooklyn. He's starting to feel it. He's in a groove here in the second half. Timeout called the Lakers. The Nets making a switch here. Curry's checked in. Russell Westbrook in for the Lakers. James on the wing. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Gabriel's checked in. Harris against Walker. To the left wing. Davis with a screen on Kirk. Here's Reeves, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. Shooting two. And during this game, they sliced the D apart by just attacking the rim, a flat out dominating them inside. 
first one falls. And he makes both free throws. Nets trail by three. The pass to Irving. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Kendrick Nunn, he's jacked in for the Lakers. Russell Westbrook drops them both. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Outside Durant. And Durant gets double team. Irving against Walker. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, great display of concentration and tenacity from Irving there. Fighting his way through contact, getting it up and down, plus the foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Now here's Westbrook. 11 points in the game. KD looking around. Irving up top. And they're unable to get the time basket there. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6-9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Davis down low. Durant's there. Davis with the bucket. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Harris kicks to Irving. Stolen by none. Passes it to Gabriel. Down low. Durant with the steal. Here's O'Neal. It's blocked. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Thomas checked in for Brooklyn. Williams comes in for Irving. And the Lakers also making a switch. James is checked in. Timeout called. The Nets.
a chance to check out stats for Durant. Coming off a terrific season, how about 30 points per game, six assists and seven rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. Here's Williams. None grabs the board. Los Angeles leading by four. Davis dishes to LeBron. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Nets. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. KD against Davis. The three. KD can't get it to go. The Lakers have gone 7 of 11. A lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Here's Walker. Connects in the foul on jumper. Walker's got his third basket of the night. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Williams passes to KD. He feeds it to Thomas. And then Thomas with the jam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Nets trail by four. O'Neal kicks to Williams. Davis against Durant. Four on the clock. And Davis sends it back. Not only does Davis have great skill, but he is tremendously agile. He can get shots from just about anywhere on the court. Out left of the wing. James sets the screen for none. And the three off target. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Durant for three. Trills the three-pointer. Durant's got 13 points now in the quarter. Now this, this is more like it. Nine points for him from three-point range this half. That's nine more than he had in the first. Now here's James. 33 points for him over O'Neal. Nice shot by James. James has got 35 in the game. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. KD dishes to O'Neal. Curry way outside. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Davis setting the pick for Westbrook. Pass to none. Five on the clock. Kicks it out to LeBron. No good on the triple. No luck for him this half after being outstanding from outside the arc in the first half. O'Neal with it. He's picked up by Walker. Pass to Williams. High post, KD. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, you're scratching your head with how do you defend a guy like Durant. I mean, his length, his speed, ball handling, all allow him to draw fouls easily. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. That's good from Durant. So for the Nets, Joe Harris has checked in for Thomas. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Williams. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 116 left in the third quarter. Dunn looking around. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That foul gives him four, so he's got to settle down a bit. We've got 108 left here in the third quarter. And it's Davis with the jam. 
when Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him, giving you his entire package right now. Irving finds Durant. Got it. Good job in the low post. Durant's got 41. The Lakers in the lead. It's Davis on the win. Back to LeBron. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got five assists in the game. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis. Seeing the floor and making the right decision. Irving misses. Lakers leading by three. James, the pass to Westbrook. And here's none. James in the post. 37 points for him. Banked in off the glass. 39 points for LeBron. Moving against none. O'Neal is green on none. On the pass to KD. Over Davis. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And not so fast. The previous play is under review. Make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The replay leaving little doubt. But to me, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay to get these big calls right. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. Now they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt in looking at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you got to use it. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Lakers lead by three. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Nets trail by three. So for the Lakers right now, they'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. The backcourt pair for them, Westbrook and Walker. And it's Reeves in at the three slot. Just five on the clock. Here's Harris, has it to Claxton, and he goes in for the dunk. Harris makes opponents pay in the pick and roll, guys, because he's an effective passer with tight handles. It's deflected. Davis gets to Westbrook. LeBron sets the screen for Westbrook. Pass to James, Durant with the steal. To the middle, here's Irving, and the rejection by James. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Now, here's Walker. Six to shoot. Here's Davis. And that basket to his impressive total brings him to 10 for 14. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Westbrook against Irving. Shoots over Walker. And again, it's the Nets missing. Lakers leading by three. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. It's stolen by Curry. And here is KD. Kicks to Irving. To tie it up. The Lakers with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Walker the pass to James. Here's Davis. No good that time. Durant with some nice D. KD draws the double. Claxton the counter. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. That one on Davis. Excellent vision by Durant out there. What a nice pass. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for Walker. Now 
And the free throw, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by one. Outside, Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got six assists here tonight. Davis, great confidence in this area here. I mean, he knows he can score at any time from that position. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. Here is Durant. And there's the call on James. That's his fourth foul of the contest. They're at the limit already. That, to me, is just lazy defense. And stolen by James. I tell you what, they got a nice reservation for him over on the bench. If he keeps this up, fourth turnover already. Davis inside. Pass to Beverly. Davis setting the pick for Beverly. Offline from the top of the key. Nets trail by three. Curry kicks to Irving. There's the pass to Durant. It's Curry outside. And he's good on the free ball. And perimeter score feet. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here is Davis, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. That one is no good. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. In the corner, it's Harris. To the inside. Here's Irving. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Irving's got 24 points. Tell you what, I don't think there's been a single shot that Irving has wanted and didn't get so far. James in the post. Defended by Durant. LeBron passes to Beverly. Davis with a screen on Harris. Outside for Davis. Just three to shoot. Hits it from three-point range. Davis has got 33 points. When your big man can pop out and knock down the corner three, it certainly opens up the whole offense. Back to Durant. Takes a three. That one, no good. Lakers have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Fades away. And he can't bank that one in. He kicks to Irving. Back to Durant. The shot, no good. Great D that time from James. Passes it to Westbrook. Now here's Beverly. Out to the wing. LeBron outside. Tries again. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. Weight room muscle on display there. James, even when he gets hit, he can still score. And the Lakers call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
And the Lakers making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Nets. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Davis sends it back. A three, Harris. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got assist number eight now on the night. Now here's LeBron, guarded close. Beverly finds James. And they double up James. Back to Beverly. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Harris. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. KD against James. Talk about a high IQ ball. Durant read the pick and roll coverage perfectly there. KD against James. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. O'Neal's check in for the Nets. Both free throws good for LeBron. And his work at the free throw line has been terrific tonight, making the most of his chances. Durant up top, James covering. Durant kicks to Kirk. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Los Angeles has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's LeBron. Fires for three. Good on the triple. Really doesn't matter what position LeBron is playing. The point, the four or the five. James changes games with his passing ability. Now, here is Irving. KD passes to Claxton. Irving double team. The Nets working the ball around now. Got it, and the Laker lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Durant. Well, he's found his shot again. Did nothing from range in the first half. But this third quarter, all his. Here's LeBron. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And such a physical player inside. LeBron doesn't fear contact on the way up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And James drills them both. And so it's Brooklyn with it, trailing by four. Irving against Schroeder, and Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. The kick out to Irving. Here's Claxton. He's guarded by Davis. And here's Katie for three. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. 
or just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Curry with a wide open look. A three-pointer no good. Lakers leading by four. Davis dishes to LeBron. Davis with a screen on KD for three. And Davis can't get it to go. The Nets have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Claxton the pass to Irving. Down low. Here's Claxton. Curry outside. Connects from three-point range. Curry's got six in the quarter. Shots like this prove Seth Curry is unafraid when it comes to taking big shots. It's Davis on the wing. Pass to Reeves. Lock at six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot up. Shoot two. from Schroeder. Schroeder hits them both. And Brooklyn has possession. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Irving with it. Outside curve to tie it up. Oh, they get it back. Basket good. They get that one, but guys, on the night, that's been the problem, securing the ball. They've been out hustled. At this point, hard to see them recovering from that. Now, here's Schroeder. Davis with a screen on Irving. Here's Schroeder. Here's Davis. Lays it up and banks it in. Davis has got 35 in the game. Poise under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. A.D. Here is Durant. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Outside Irving. For the three. That one no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. O'Neal against Davis. LeBron outside. From deep. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. AD staring them down and letting them know this ain't over yet. Irving against Ruben, and Davis sends it back. 59 seconds left in the game. 
Here's Preston. He's guarded by Davis. And stolen by LeBron. And now the pass break. Schroeder with the ball. And it's good off the back rim and in. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Now here's Durant over James. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Well, Durant knows the team looks to him for this. These kinds of moments, the intensity of the moment never rattles him. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. That's good, going one or two from the line, and that increases their lead to six. Timeout called. The Nets, they're down by six. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to KD. Outside for Curry. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Shoot two. Drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Morris finds KD. And got it! Another basket. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, Pick I thought break. they did a Pick nice break. job getting it in his Pick hands side. and making sure he was the guy who go to the line. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. Does get the second one, and that will put them up by two. Now Kevin Durant over Davis. Count it! A huge shot to tie it up. Oh, a really nice job to take what the defense was giving him there. And Jordan Ham wants to call a timeout.
and that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports. These teams have battled tooth and nail before. quarters and now we head to overtime should be a blast O'Neal is out there with Durant then it's Morris then there's Hicks and it's Curry in at the one and a wide open look for James they get the rebound and it's Davis finishing it off so smooth, so fluid, effortless, yet powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. Now, here's Morris. Kicks it to Curry to take the lead. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Beverly. Outside Westbrook, LeBron with a screen on Curry. Five to shoot. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good What's at the that? other end. One misses. Mets trail by four. Durant kicks to Curry. Back to KD. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on LeBron James. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. Good from Durant. So he gets them both. It's extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. And they double up James. Westbrook kicks to LeBron. Five on the clock. Beverly for three. Rebound, Brooklyn. KD's got ten rebounds here tonight. So happy. This is at the curve. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. James has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And the layup falls. LeBron's got 48. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Durant. Morris with a screen on Davis. And Morris throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Los Angeles calls timeout.
and it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. LeBron passes to Davis, feeds it to Westbrook. Just five on the clock. Great open look there. And the Lakers lead by five. Well, we know what a skilled passer Westbrook is, but you still got to appreciate that dime there. Very impressive. Morris kicks the curve. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. They get Russell Westbrook. The free throw drops for Curry. And you know, for Curry, getting into the league has been a battle for Seth. I mean, he's more established and playing with more confidence now. Both good from the line that time. We're in OT here with just over two and a half minutes gone by. LeBron pitch to Beverly. Here's Davis, lays it up off the glass. Davis has got 41. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a team like this? Let's go. I like offense. A double team KD. O'Neal gets to Durant. In the corner, it's Morris. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Knocked loose. This possession is make or break, do or die. They need points to stay within reach. Westbrook passes to James. And they double up James. Here's Westbrook. A shot missing. Some solid defense there from KD. O'Neal high post. The pass to Durant. Over the run. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. For the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. There is no doubt about who they were going to on that one. Of course not. LeBron coming through. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They're behind by five. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first overtime. O'Neal a screen on Westbrook. It's Curry with the drive. Here's KD. LeBron with the block. And an intentional foul right there. And they go to the intentional foul. That's the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. And that will add to a healthy lead after that trip to the free throw line. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. 
Yeah, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They trail by seven. 29 seconds left in the first overtime. Stolen by Westbrook. Here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. You know, this overtime has been somewhat lackluster, mainly because both teams are clearly fatigued. outside Westbrook. And so the Lakers take the win. They escape with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. AD, efficient night offensively. What got you going there? I got the jump yesterday and just play some one on one. Get back in the rhythm, get some game shots, and then help me out tonight. Um, that's it. You know, I just try to stay with it. I'm confident in my game, confident in everything that I do, every shot that I take, and tonight it went in. Yeah, you were rolling, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, LeBron James.